two ways to run multiple Ansible handlers using Ansible code. How to execute two Ansible handlers on a changed status of Ansible playbook. My name is Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. First of all, let's take a, a quick flash about what is a handler. A handler runs task on a change, so it's a great function that executes some code, some Ansible module, only when there is a change status in our Ansible playbook. This is amazing. For example, we don't want to restart all the time SSH if we didn't make any changes or things like this. But now let's get our hands dirty and see practically how to run multiple Ansible handler in two different ways. I'm going to show you one very simple Ansible task, for example, running the Ansible command module with the uptime command, which generates all the time a change status and two different handlers to display some messages on the screen. Are you ready? Let's get fun! Welcome to my editor. For this demo we are using a very simple Ansible playbook with only one task, the command uptime that returns all the time the change status and two handlers, message1 and message2, two, two simple messages on the screen using Ansible debug module and we are going to explore two different solutions. You might be wonder why I left notify empty. Well, because I'm using a special keyword now that is called message and I'm going to define this message as a special listener in each of the handlers. So the first handler will listen for message as notify and the same the second one. So Solution done! This is a simple Ansible playbook to trigger two or more handlers with one simple handler. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me create one simple inventory that triggers localhost as execution. Remember to add Ansible underscore connection local to avoid any SSH connection. So, now let's execute the Ansible playbook using ansible-playbook-i inventory and then the name of the playbook. As expected, the execution is super fast, we got one change status for a task that trigger the handler and boom, we have two different messages, message1 and message2 on the screen. So it worked, yes, solution number one approved, let's see solution number two, let's return back to the editor. Back on the editor, I was returning to the previous Ansible playbook, the first that we saw together, and this time let's find out a different solution. This time we modify the notify, not with a new name, but with a true known main name, in my case the name of handlers, so message1 and message2. So I expanded notify as a list and specify the order. So first I want to see message1 and secondly message2. I frankly prefer this method because it gives me more flexibility and I can change also the order of the handlers. Welcome back to my terminal. As you can see there is already the output of a previous execution so now let me see if uh, we are getting the same exact result with the execution of the Ansible Playbook 2-2.yml. So Ansible Playbook-i inventory and the name of the playbook produce uh, the same exact message. So changes status and two running handlers, message1 and message2. Yay! Success! We saw two different ways. Now now you know how to run multiple Ansible handlers in two different ways. I hope this lesson was useful for you, thank you for watching and see us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay!